Hello, we are the Bangor University team, and this is our submission for VAST 2012. I'm Francis Williams. And I'm William Faithful. So I'm going to begin with an overview of the features of our visualisation. As you can see, we plot uh, all facilities on the map geographically, and uh, they're done by region, which are these square boxes, but also superimposed onto the actual geographical map behind. Down in the bottom left corner, we have a stack graph which represents the stack policy status per region. Uh, at the bottom of this, we have a time slider which, with which we can adjust the time and uh, just change the timestamp there. On the right, this stack graph represents uh, exactly the same, the stack policy statuses, but for a facility. And we can actually drill down, if we zoom into the map here, onto a particular facility using our little reticule. And what this reticule visualizes is the machines and their policy statuses uh, separated by machine class at each facility. So we have a dense pixel plot showing the colors, the policy status of each machine, and we visualize the distribution uh, of each with a histogram. Now, on a small facility like a branch, we wouldn't expect to see many machines, but we get a very dense pixel plot if we mouse over a large facility like a data center or a headquarters. Uh, additionally, we can use the menu at the le on the right hand side to visualize different things with the map. We can uh, turn off colors so that we only see, for example, compromised machines. And we can also edit the uh, stack graphs uh, using this other menu and only look at particular policy statuses on that. OK, so in the second part of the demonstration of our visualization, we're going to try and answer MC 1.1. Um, so if we move along to 2 o'clock on the 2nd of the 2nd, uh, we can instantly see two areas of interest on our map. Uh, on the left, we can see a data center is highlighted in red. And on the right, up here, we can see a region has a lack of data on some of its facilities. So firstly, we're going to go and look at this data center up here. If we zoom in we can hover over the data center and it will generate us a dense pixel of all the machines. We can see that in this data center there are a large number of servers and actually only one workstation. Uh, we can see the workstation is not highlighted in red and that tells us that the infected machine is not a workstation. So if we look at the dense pixel of the servers on the right hand side, um, at first glance it looks quite random. Um, in actual fact, these servers are sorted by IP address. This was to allow us to see if a uh, virus is jumping along um, IP addresses, and in this case it isn't. Um, however, at the top right of the uh, dense pixel plot, we can see one machine highlighted in red, and that is the only machine in this dense pixel that has a policy status level of 5. We can extrapolate from that. That at this time frame, um, that is the only machine in the entire network at policy level 5, as if there was another one, another facility would be highlighted in red. The second anomaly we saw was uh, this region up here. It has got a distinct lack of data. And if I hover over the region, we can see on the bottom left stack line graph a big dip in, in the graph. So if we zoom in, we can hover over these, uh, these uh, facilities that have no data and we can instantly see on the bottom right at this time frame where the line indicates there is no data. Um, we can see when they went off and we can see when they are coming back on later in the day. And this is the same for met all of these facilities in this bottom section of the region. Um, it is also the same, in fact, later on of the headquarters for that region. So for this kind of activity to be considered normal, we would have expected to see a large uh, spike in activity flag 2, uh, which means that the machines are going down for maintenance, um, immediately prior to this event. Uh, we can investigate that by going to our menu, uh, selecting activity flag, which is already done here, and turning off all the other activity flags possible. On the bottom left, we can immediately see there is no such spike preceding uh, any of these um, uh, shutdowns here, um, so we can therefore assume that this was unexpected. 